In this week's Torah portion of Vayakhel, God points out to Moses the artisan leaders, the artist creators, who we need to help enhance the portable tabernacle to create our sacred space and to really beautify our Jewish lives. Learning the Torah along with Rashi's commentary, we really get a sense that these artists and others like them in the future that we hold in high esteem have a certain aspect of their personalities and their personhoods that is divine in a very unique way. That the divine image comes through, that they act as partners with God in creation, in creating the wonderful, beautiful, and even challenging works of art that invite us to either try to achieve, let's say, a sense of holiness, or that stir a reaction or, or gain our attention when presented visually. God says, Moses, here, I've singled these artists out. And the first one called upon is Bezalel. Re'e karati v'shem. Bezalel ben Uri ben Hor l'mate Yehuda. Bezalel comes from the tribe of Yehuda. And later on, he'll be granted a partner. And that is, v'ani hine natati ito et oholiav ben achisamach l'mate dan. Oholiav, the son of Achisamach, is from the tribe of Dan. So what do we learn from this appointment of two partners whose tribes are named as well as their personal names? Well, Rashi will teach us something very unique, and that is a comment that he makes regarding the tribe of Yehuda prominent tribe, the tribe from which King David descends, the, the, the tribe from which the Messiah will come. And this tribe of Dan, who's known as the tribe that carries everything, uh, brings up the back. Rashi says, Oholiav, and this second artist, Oholiav, from the tribe of Dan, Mishevet Dan, That is, min ha-yirudin b'shvatim, mibnei ha-shvachot. Tribe of Dan descended from handmaidens, Jacob's wives' handmaidens. B'shvu hu ha-makom l'vitzalel l'malechet ha-mishka. But God lifts the tribe of Dan to the same level as the tribe of Yehuda, of the tribe of Judah. An artist from the ascendant tribe, an artist from what you might have called uh, a tribe that should be looked at as only of handmaidens in the house of Israel. No, God says, learn a lesson here. Both of these artists and leaders are essential to our building a world of beauty. These two tribes exist together as People from every tribe and artists from all walks exist together to partner with me in creation. Sometimes in the world of art, those who are prominent and with funds to spend gain a little bit more of the respect in, in the art world until the time that, let's say, one who's not so well off is discovered. But perhaps this makes us reassess not only those without the funds and resources to realize their major projects, but even the amateur artists, in addition to the professional ones, whose beautiful artistic endeavors is reflective of that divine gift of creativity. In communities, sacred communities all around the globe, one way that we level the playing field for creative artists and leaders to come forward is to ask our congregants who have artistic abilities to serve in all kinds of different ways. At Orzarua, we have a wonderful aesthetics committee and a community who cared so deeply about building our mishkan, about building our tabernacle. How beautiful each appointment, how wonderful each kli, each implement or tool, vessel for performing sacred rituals. There's just a wonderful sense of calm and beauty for some, of challenging us to reach sacred heights for others. 
meditative space, an inner sanctum from amidst the busy world of New York outside. The Aesthetics Committee and those who contributed to the building project of Orzarua truly understood that folks from all walks, Jews from every stripe, every tribe who wanted to participate could equally partner in creating this beautiful, sacred space, this aesthetically ascendant space of worship and communal gathering and activity. In that community space, the first floor is a gallery in addition to a social hall. And our gallery committee has always lifted the place of the visual arts and brought the artists themselves to share their reflections on what sparked that creativity, how they reassessed some slice of reality and presented it in whatever media they were working with, or many media at the same time. We treasure the place of the arts and artists, those with artistic outlooks and abilities and their abilities to contribute to the sacred project of our congregation and thusly all of Am Yisrael, our people. As the Torah described in the book of Exodus, as Rashi commented on when he said, bring your artistic creativity, your sparks of creativity and come help us create a world more full of the divine. Shabbat Shalom.